So probably about a week ago now, we went for a bighorn hunt out here on Timbergold Trails, and it went really well. I just really enjoyed getting up there in the mountains and chasing bighorn, and we also got into a competition that somehow we ended up in first place with, with very little effort, and this is going to be kind of a part two video to that, because for me, I recorded that about 12 hours ago, and like I said, I had a lot of fun, and we're still sitting in first place with at least a little bit of a cushion. It's not much. But I think if we can get like one good sized bighorn, we might be able to win that. So I want to head back up there again and see if we can maybe get one. Well, that's interesting. I mean, if he's there, I guess we're just going to get that. I don't even know what he was stuck on, but that's not a bad elk. He's got a really good frame. If he had better back tines, I'd actually really be wondering how big he was, but... He should be kind of like, I was going to say around 350, so 348 will be good enough for that. And I guess since we're here, we can kind of look at the path I want to take. So I want to just go like all the way up through here. And then we'll sort of do what we started with last time towards the end. We'll kind of like loop around this mountain. And we'll get down into the railroad tracks after that and just kind of see what that does for us. It's kind of amazing. There's areas up here where you can see like all the way out to render distance, 300 meters. And the first ram I see is just 80 meters away walking broadside up here, so he's decent weight. He's not going to score high enough to really be that heavy. I talked about it last time. Generally, like, the top scoring ones are also, like, at the top end of the possible weight and kind of vice versa. So I don't see this guy even weighing above 100 kg. I think all three of the ones that we have are over 100 because our average right now is, like, 101, but they all pretty much weighed right in that 101 area, so... We're going to have to get a pretty good one to actually improve our score, but that's kind of the main goal here is just to try to find, like, one good one because I don't really think we're going to improve it much. But if we can get one that weighs, like, 110, then we'll really lift our score up there. But this guy is actually fairly heavy for his weight, 101.4. I think that's actually what our average is. That's going to bump it up to 102, so that actually helped. I really didn't think at that size he would be even to that, but we'll definitely take that. That might be a kind of decent ram. It's hard to tell from whatever that was, 250 meters, but... Eh. Probably not even a 140. 90 to 170. He's got decent weight, so... We'll give it a shot and see if he maybe increases our score a bit, but... I don't think he's even... Gonna be above 100 kg, to be honest. But 250 meters. That must have been, like just under the heart because it hit him in the shoulder he really shouldn't run that far so we'll just kind of mark where he went down over and hopefully we can just go and find him quickly Ooh, that might be bigger all right if we don't move i should be able to put an x over that marker and then click back in and I think we should still be looking at the same spot. So, honestly, I think I'm going to go there first. And then go and look for the one we hit after that. I don't know if that's the one we saw, but that's going to be the one we're going to take a shot at. He's max weight and max score estimate. I want to get a quick range just to see if we have to aim high. Yeah, 250. We just learned that uh, aiming like just below the top of the back's not good enough. So we're going to put that, like, right on his spine. Honestly, if he'd stop broadside, that would be nice. That might be even better. Not bad. So now, we got to move our marker again. Even that... Did we see that one? I think we did. But when it's far away, even that looks pretty good. We'll get a quick, uh, weight estimate. Yeah, 65 to 90, that's not going to be anything that will help us, but that guy's definitely not bad. And actually, he stopped pretty much right at 300 broadside, so we might as well try to get him down too. That way we're not tracking him or anything like that later. But I don't know how high to aim necessarily. That actually looks good. So finally, this is the first one. They're just not fun at all to track. Some of this grass is so high, like... You can't even see where the tracks are. But 89 kg, that's not going to help us much in the competition. And then try to 
get oriented again. That is the big one we dropped. And at the range we shot him at, I really couldn't tell. Honestly, up close I can't even tell, but I'm mainly hoping that weight is going to get our competition score up. He's 102, so it'll get it a little bit. We actually hit him in the spine. And a 167, I think that's the same size as the biggest one we got last time, but that kind of pushed our average up almost to 103. I've always felt like trying to get a good trophy shot of a bighorn in this game is just really difficult, and it doesn't help that the alpine shoes for some reason are just invisible, so I always try to like hide that behind the animal some, and I think for what we have here, this is probably as good as we're going to get, so at least like up close of the one curl there. I like to get both horns in it, but I couldn't get anything better looking, and I think we're just going to go with that, especially since he's just a 160 and not a 180, but we actually still have one more to track here, and I'm not looking forward to that from the way the last one went. Actually, that was really easy. He just went in a straight line and only left like five tracks, but I think he was only up to 90 kg or something, so it was never one that was going to get us anywhere for our competition score, but it's just nice to shoot some like as we're going along and feel like we're actually getting something done that way. But, we got another ram right there. I think it's pretty average size again, but quite often when they're running, they slow down, and if he does that again, we might be able to get a shot in there. He must have been working his way like down that hillside the whole time. I'm not sure if we shoot him, if we're going to be able to claim him. We're going to find out, but if he falls way down there, we're not going to be able to get back up here. I guess we could fast travel to that 10, actually. Let's see what he does. I mean, we should be able to get there. And sometimes, actually, I'll see Bighorn, like, on the sides of the cliffs like this, so we can maybe get a look at that and then fast travel back up. And what we can't do is start rolling real fast, because we'll get way down below him. So at least we're able to recover him. I'm honestly not sure if I even paid attention to the weight estimate, but, again, he's well below what we have, so... We'll just kind of hop back up here and continue on our path that we have. This Tarmigan's going to fly right past us here. That got super laggy. It's nicer to shoot like up into the air so all the pellets don't hit the ground and have to like render whatever happens that makes it laggy, but kind of just a little bonus bird working towards 100 of them. And last time we got that 450, which was decent, but I think something like 470 was leaderboard, and that one's just 402, so it's pretty little, but that got our shotgun skill level up. It sounds like we're surrounded by these things. Try to maybe get two if we can. I think it's going to be too far away. There's tracks all over. Anytime I hear them, like, back behind me, I always wonder if they're going to fly over me and go to where all the other ones are, but this one's not going to be super special either. 448's actually decent. And I can still hear them all, like, ahead of us they actually I think will like fly back to here but because we're kind of going for bighorn I don't want to sit here and wait on them so maybe we'll just take it slow in this area and see if we can catch one on its way back but I don't want to wait for a bunch of them it sounds like they should be literally right on top of us I guess that one actually was I don't know like they got close here but none of them really ever came here and landed that one's gonna land down there but I think we'll just be happy with our one and continue on here because could get stuck here just waiting on them all day this one's right here another not super special one if it's just point four I can't believe this if I actually go out and hunt these guys I can't find them and they never cooperate and anytime that I'm chasing bighorn lately they just fly past all the time, but I think that's the fifth one, fourth or fifth one on this hunt, so slowly working towards getting 100 of them. We're actually well past the two hour mark into this hunt now, and I feel like other than that one point where we just had a bunch of rams and like where we shot the big one, it's been especially slow. We got like three or four out of that area, and just every now and then we're running into them, but this guy actually has a chance. His score estimate was decent, so he's probably going to be 140s. But his weight estimate was there to where he could actually improve on our score a little bit. And I think, honestly, all we need is like a 103 to get our average above 103, so there's a chance of that. And then, I 
think I spotted that guy already. Once we uh, go through this tunnel here, we'll hunt around a little bit on the other side, and that's going to be pretty much it. We've covered these mountains, I think, fairly well. Is that a ram? Nah, it's just a, a female. So, wherever the one we shot got to, for some reason he's half buried here. Nah, he's just 89, so not going to help us. Got a hard shot on him. And 147 for that, so pretty much comes down to whatever's on the other side of this tunnel. So there is actually a lot of sheep walking around over here, and I'm not too surprised, because it felt like a lot of the mountains were pretty empty. But they're all pretty much average or below average, it feels like. And one of these guys at least had like a decent weight estimate. I don't think it was that one, but we'll have to check with the spotting scope and see, and maybe at least that could improve our competition score. That guy is the one that goes up to 95, and then wherever this guy is closer, I think he went up to 110 or 115, but he's kind of hiding right now. I think this is him just walking around right here. He's only up to 105, but he does have the max score estimate, so I think that's the one. And I'm pretty sure he's just a 140 again, but we'll take him, and then... I'm pretty confident stuff's going to be running just everywhere for a little while here, so I'm going to try to keep an eye on everything and see like if there's maybe a bigger one that was hiding somewhere. And the good news is we can kind of see to the top around most of here. So if there's any we didn't see, they should kind of come through our view. I don't think I had seen that one, but he's just 60 to 85 kg. But they kind of do that sometimes, and that's what makes... Part of bighorn sheep hunting actually difficult because even when you shoot like this sometimes they just sort of end up stuck on the side of the mountain and don't go anywhere so you still gotta keep an eye out but as far as i can tell we didn't miss anything and we'll kind of cross our fingers here and hope the sheep is gonna improve our score just a bit i don't know why they're all sinking through the ground all of a sudden they weren't doing that before but 96.8 is not going to improve our score 152 though i think that's the second biggest one we got during this hunt, but I think unfortunately that is going to wrap this one up. So we did pretty much another two and a half hours, about the same as what we did in the previous hunt. And we did improve our score a little bit, so we'll kind of see, see if that score ends up at least getting top three. I think it could. There's maybe 10 hours left in the competition, something like that. So we'll just sort of see maybe how competitive this one gets. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.